Welcome everyone to race number three of the Throwback National Series. That's happy hour. Jeff Scott is on pole for today's race, starting alongside that four team. Here's the full qualifying results, and here's the race command. Crank them engines! Alright, engines are fired up. Ready to race once again. So we're all the way in the west. Here at Las Vegas, Nevada. So that four team starting second in this race. Finished second at Rockingham. Looking for another good run. Second row we got uh, Brad Cheston and Nick Wilcox. Third row is Noah Swell and uh, Gene Dickinson. Who has made some rivals at Rockingham. So probably got to watch out today for that 30 team. The 32 of Connor Breen there in the in row 4 alongside the 47 of Nathan Norman. There's Simon Davis in the 18 car and Max Anderson in the 43 as we're getting ready to go green here at Las Vegas. So this is the older Las Vegas where the banking was a lot flatter than what we see today as the pace car pulls in getting ready to go green here we go green flag is out and we're underway Got trouble already, the 21's around. Wrecking in turn one, here goes Cheston in the 37 to the inside. In turns three and four, he is gonna get the spot. And he'll come around and lead lap number one and take the first caution flag of the day. There it is. All right, caution is out, let's take a look at the replay. So Carlos Rodriguez in the 21, let's take a look. So, did he get hit or... Or what? Oh no! Mechanical failure right in front. A double zero out like as he gets in the back of him. And he ends up getting turned. That collects the 87. But doesn't spin out. Hits the outside wall. And yeah, he was the only one. I thought it was a big wreck because I saw smoke coming out. But it was just a mechanical failure. Right in front of the field. Or well, maybe not the entire field, just at the back. So it's much better to have it at the back and there's Legacy just checks up, got on the apron, goes right around the 21 car of Rodriguez. So first caution of the day, let's take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go green. So it was listed as an accident for the 21, so we don't know exactly what happened to Rodriguez's car. 37 cars remaining on the racetrack, base cars in. Green flag is out. We're back underway. Pretty decent start for Brad Cheston, the 59 car. Uh, Noah Swell in second. Third place is Jeff Scott. Connor Breen fourth. And the four team is fifth. Here goes. Uh, Connor Breen for third. This time no wreck. Three wide, the four car is gonna go for it. Three wide entering turn one, but can't make it stick. But we might get the spot from uh, Jeff Scott there in the outside line. There's a 30 car in sixth. Let's see if we can get to the bottom here. Three wide. Nathan Norman getting by. Sang and uh, Wilcox. Here comes a two car, Michael Brown. He'll take it three wide as well. Four 
Four cars pushing hard. Connor Breeden up to second to the inside again. It's 27 to Scott in fourth. Or back up to fourth. Side by side here. Going to allow Brad Chesson to pull away a bit. Or maybe not. Yeah, he actually lost time. There goes Dickinson in a 30. Another rookie, gonna make it three wide. And he gets him off turn four. Ah, oh, the rookies have fast race cars. And here comes a four to the inside for the race lead. Fourth team looks like they're on fire. You know, just the second race in a row. Well, I don't know where he finished in Daytona. But he takes the lead away from Brad Cheston. As whoa to 30, getting real close to the 37. I think Cheston tried to block the middle line. So if he would have spun, I don't think that would have been the 30's fault. Yeah, Cheston was very aggressive. He did not want to stay on the outside. Here he comes, pouncing back. Looking to the bottom of the four car. Looks like he's going to hang on here. And we're under caution for the second time. Through turn three. Coming off four to the yellow flag. Oh, big hit. That's a two car. Another crash. I think the 18 is also involved. Alright, we're under yellow for the second time. Let's take a look at the replay. Alright, let's take a look here. Mitchell Hodak in the five car. They're four wide. Got attacked on the 49 car. Yeah, they got to get pushed into the path of uh, David Davis and he spins hard hit to the outside wall. Big hit for the five car of Mitchell Hodak. The only car involved in this one. But we also saw a second wreck. It's right on board with the 25 at Davison. And yeah, these guys, they, they were all side by side, two by two. There's a 49, he makes a 3 wide through the middle. Then Davison, he's going to make it 4 wide. So here they come entering turn 1 here. I think Davison was just trying to get back behind the 5 car. If he ends up collecting the 5 car of uh, Hodak and spinning him out. So a pretty big hit for the 5 car as we move on up. We saw the second wreck with uh, Michael Brown and the 2. Brown, he's just getting involved he crashes. He was having a good run. It was in the top 10. So we take our little fast forward a little bit. So there's Simon Davis in the 18 right behind him. Davis gets in the back of him. Got him sideways. Turn him around. Davis also gets swept in it. Yep. Did not. Uh, was unable to drive away from that. But we're not done yet. 25 car. And the 1 car. The 02 and the 19. So a small pile up. 87 also. Jack Legacy spinning around. Alexander Rowe. Jack a snow chaser. And Al Legacy spinning through the grass. One car is destroyed. 25 to 18. Yep, they are done for today. And again, Simon Davis running in the top 10. He ends up getting taken out. Just like at Rockingham. Oh, well, he was actually 11th, but he was close. Right on board here. Yeah, he gets to the left side, gets close. He doesn't back out. And he gets uh, gets hit from the two car while wrecking. He ends up getting collected. Then he takes a big hit from the one and the 25. So pretty big. Uh, so far our biggest wreck of the day here at Las Vegas couple of cars out for sure all right so that's the second yellow of the day we'll take you back to the restart all right getting ready to go green here so 33 cars remaining on the racetrack so those four we saw involved in that wreck 25 the 19 the 18 and the one out of the race the five is still out there after hitting the wall hard Michael Brown and the two still out there as well 
Just trying to salvage the finish here, if they can. So nothing else goes wrong here for those guys at the back. Here we go. Green flag. We're back underway. Scott to the outside. Got a better restart. But the outside line, not the way you want to go. No swell, way up to the top. Big gap here. Something going on. That any driver just have any issues in front? 81 says it's got a tire. 38 also got problems too. We're saying that was a fuel system in the 9 car that's push pushing on him. Not gonna come down pit road. Yeah, even the, yep, the 38's got the big time problems. He's holding up the 9. Hodak is able to pass both of them on the outside. Oh, he's gonna spin him. Almost. Yeah, he's running out of gas here. Or something. As we see a pass for the lead, Brad Cheston back to the top. Jeff Scott in the 27 and 3rd. Still side by side for the Royal C, the 4. Trying his best to hang on to the outside line. But don't think he's going to be able to do it here. Scott to the inside now for 2nd place. Nope, can't do it there. Bottom line looks better in 3 and 4. It is a one and two. That's where looks like that's where more of the passes are being made. At least when it comes to the inside line, the it turns. So it is possible to hang on to the top through one and two. Not so much in three and four. Here goes Scott again. Well, he could make the pass still. Just seems better in three and four as here he goes. And he's got the position. Here's the thirty car as well. Going for third. Brad Chester taking a higher line through three and four there. Here's a pretty wild camera. Yeah, that's uh, that's not me. That's not free cam. So I made the camera like that for this racetrack. Which is interesting, but not really that smooth. Those guys back here. Three wide, Manders. They're in a pretty big pack here. Might see another crash. Oh, look at a crash, crash now. I don't want this race ending under yellow. There's a 20 car of Chapman leading the second pack. There's a 99 of Tony Green. Mechanical failures at Rockingham pushing on the 55 on the outside. Doing it nice and smooth though. He made it work. Oh, they're gonna go four wide. Trying to. Green trying to get by. Yeah, I don't really I really I don't really like that. It's kind of weird, it's all jittery. 22 car, Patrick Mew. Behind the 12 car of uh, Tito McCoy. Oh, the 38. Why hasn't the 38 come down and made a stop? I mean, there's no reason for him to stay out there. I mean, he's going to get lapped. I mean, he's already at the tail end of the lead lap. I guess it's just going to take too long for them to fix. So they might as well just stay out there. Oh, and Brad Chesson into the back of him. Gene Dickinson in the 30 on the inside will take the lead. And I was afraid that was going to happen. Yeah, once you, they come out of the trial, and oh, trouble, and oh, green again with mechanical problems. Again, for the second race in a row. The 99 car with issues. Under the hood. Oh, don't slide back up. Yeah, there's no reason for that 38 to stay out there. Now he's holding up 43 and the 55. Uh-oh, 43 is going to turn him. No, he doesn't. Oh, so many spots lost. Anderson cannot be happy with his 38 car. There's a 30, Gene Dickinson. Now out, out in front, thanks to Chris Sang, a fellow Dodge. Dickinson, as we mentioned at the beginning of the race, did not make any friends at Rockingham. He's got a few guys that are looking for him. 
But right now he is leading the race looking for his first career win in his third start. Jeff Scott is three, sec uh, three tenths back. I don't know how Brad Jensen did not wreck. He should have wrecked, but he didn't. Currently in fourth. He's going to lose this race. Yeah, there's no overtime that could save him. Jeff Scott loses a spot. Connor Breen with two laps to go. Unless something happens to that 30 car. This is his victory. Big run on the top for Connor Breen. He's all in here. Wow. Big. Big run. Big push. Well, he's almost to his back bumper. Within the, like half a straightaway in two turns. Here they come. White flag. Can Connor Breen catch up? One more lap to go left of Las Vegas. Connor Breen is there. Man, he dove it in there deep into turn one and two. Looking inside. Where will he make his move? Not on the back straightaway, but into three. There he goes. He's looking. He's not there yet. He's getting underneath. Here he comes. Checkered flag is in the air. Who's going to win it at the line? It's going to be... I can't tell. A photo finish. Moment of truth. And it's... The 30. Gene Dickinson hangs on and wins by a hundredth of a second. I thought Connor Breen had him. Well, he did have him, but he was just a couple inches too short. Wow, that 32 was coming in quick. Where did that speed come from? Yeah, it, was, it wasn't a huge lead, but it was good enough. But man, what a win there for the 30. He's got to thank Chris Sang there for that. He made that pass. Got that he was on the inside, right place, right moment and all that. Yep, all thanks to that 38 car. All right, let's take a look at the full race results first. So what a finish. What a finish. What drama we had in those last few laps of the race. Gene Dickinson in the rookie. First rookie to win this season in his third start. Almost lost it there at the end with Connor Reed coming in. Connor Reed was so close. He had a... There... Yeah, he just had, had a wicked fast car there at the end. Well, he was clear from uh, from the pack. And all had his sights on that 30 car, and he was hauling ass. The four team, a second uh, straight top three finish. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to be the points leader. I think they are, or maybe after this. Jeff Scott getting fourth. Uh, Brad Cheston. Uh, he should have won this. He should have won this race, or at least had a... Uh, a fair fighting chance, but Chris Sang, who had a fuel system problem, stayed out on the racetrack, did not come down pit road and get it fixed. And then, yeah, Brad Chesson runs into him. Still got a top five out of that. At least it didn't wreck, wreck out of the race. But man, Brad Chesson, he definitely, definitely upset after this one. Noah Swell, six. Nathan Norman, seven. Jack Arena, answer eight. Jaron Cowan, the ninth. And Patrick Mew, tenth. Here's the rest of the race results. 32 cars finished the race and 31 on the lead lap. And it was a piston for Tony Green. So two races in a row for the number 99 to have mechanical problems. I don't know what's going on with that 99 team. And let's take a look at that finish right at the end. That was close. Oh, wait, whoops. Okay, there we go. So at the line here, Connor Breen, he just was able to get underneath... Get the 30 car, force him to the outside a little bit, not really touching him. Yeah, he kept it really clean. He could have dove it in there, followed the 30, chased him up the racetrack. And then give him the bumper and win the race like that, but he didn't. So Connor Breen with a clean, clean race, but it cost him the win. Yeah, if he followed that 30 car, yeah, it would have been him at the end, or unless he ends up sliding too. And in case that four would have won that race. But a photo finish there. I hadn't had a photo finish in a, in a bit. But right there, Gene Dickinson. Able to hang on to the top by a hundredth of a second. Holds off veteran Connor Breeden. There at the end. 
What a race. What a finish here today at Las Vegas. So that is it at Las Vegas. Uh, the National Series will take a break. They will not join the Cup at Atlanta. So we'll see you for race number four, which is... I don't remember. But anyways, Gene Dickinson, the winner today. Let's take you to victory lane.